Hello and welcome back everybody. So we're continuing our Russian campaign. It's 1675, last time we cut, well, we cut Transoxania off from the rest of Central Asia. I wouldn't say we cut them in half. But uh, the Commonwealth's still there as well. They're still in a truce with me for another few years, so not really going to worry about that. It's these guys, at some point I have to deal with the Ottomans again. Right now I don't want to though, I don't want to get involved with that. We've almost finished calling this lot. So what are we, are we in a truce with them? No we're not, which means they could declare on me at some point if they decide. They are two powers under me, but still, if they were to attack me when I'm not ready, it could be devastating. Not to mention their allies here in Kerasa would be a big problem. However, what I was thinking, if you go to war with Multan, because they're allies with Hassar, Tibet, Gujarat, and Gwahir. And right now, if I declared a holy war, Hassar wouldn't come in, nor would Gujarat. Which just leaves me dealing with Bolivia? So where are they? Ah oh, yes, they're a one province minor, that's not a problem. What about Mombasa's down Africa, isn't it? Yeah, they're not very big. I could probably just tire them out of the war. And then Tibet. Who although they look large, I don't think they're actually that powerful. Let's have a quick look. Ledger, military, armies. Is there a way I can zoom in on Tibet? Uh, oh, hang on, I can make it alphabetical. T Tibet. Here we go. So they've got a total... No, oh, they've only got a total manpower of 48,000. They've got 43,000 men in their army. Whereas... I have 315. Alright, yep. Not afraid of Tibet. What about Multan? Uh, e, F, M, Mol, Mongolia, Morocco, Multan. Okay, so they have a decent army, but still, weaker than mine. If I place myself out correctly, I could very easily end up fighting them off pretty simply. So we'll get that army over there. I'm also going to bring this army up, and I reckon those two can deal with Tibet. And these three can just bust into Multan as hard as possible. Also, by doing this, we can break Tibet away from Ming without having to fight Ming. Or at the very least, we can attempt to weaken them. And so we have rebels. So yeah, we can lower all the rebels by 30%. Troops with Korea's up. Quickly go deal with those rebels, just get rid of them. We don't want to deal with rebels if we don't need to. Continue. Continue this. Um, how much have we got? 25%? You know what? We'll spend some. We'll do the manpower recovery speed and discipline. Multan. Declare war. Same thing. Gujarat and Hassar don't want to come in. Japan and that don't either, but I don't really need allies for this. Status effect has military access. Oh, I can cancel that. Uh, cancel that. So then I can declare war straight away, right? Yep, without any losses. Cool, same thing. Declare war. And also, yeah, quickly send him out to convert a bit more. It's probably dangerous going to war this fast straight after my last one, but it needs to be done. Go into Tibet. Not something I thought I'd have to do this game, honestly. I didn't think Tibet would even fall. I'm really surprised that this is even a threat. Now, yeah, just want to make sure, because. Yeah, okay, nah, so Tibet can't call in Ming. It's only if I attack to one of their tributaries directly that Ming becomes a problem. That's good to know. Take that fort. Let's just keep pushing them in everywhere. We got the rebels, so they don't cause them any more problems. Get this Tibetan army. 
Wow, we. Oh no, that's the rebels. We haven't beaten Tibet yet. That Tibetan army just got absolutely destroyed. Good. Good to see Tibet's nice and weak. Ooh, there's a Multan army. Let's see if we can cut it off. We did. It looks like we may have even stack wiped it. That's absolutely amazing. Exactly what we needed. Military leader has left us. Not a big deal over there, but all the same, we'll use it. National ideas standardize the uniform. What's that do? Ah, don't worry about that. Alright. Keep pushing in. Why are you guys all the way over there? Go help out with Tibet. I don't know why you're so far away. You're going for the fort. You go there. You go and get rid of this army. Meanwhile, we're going to keep going in this way. Because there's a Multan army here, which is needs to be dealt with. Why don't you have a general? I'm worried about these guys getting cut off without a general. Because that's when we'll get in trouble. That's when we'll get hurt real bad. Come on. Ah, damn it, they reinforced faster than me. Alright. It's alright, we can still deal with this. So, oh ah, yeah, there's the other powers, Mombasa and Gwe. So Gwe is like a one-state minor, and Mombasa's in Africa, so they're not going to be able to do a lot. They're too far away. Take the ducats. Continue converting people so we have less rebels. And push deeper into Tibet as well. Let's see if we can... We got him. Took two stacks, but we did get him. Doesn't matter, my manpower is way more vast than theirs, so I can afford to take some losses where they can't. Oh, I do agree. Uh, how far are we from the next miltech? Yeah, I want to save for that. We're also doing a miltech already, so I should probably not do a miltech now. I'm actually thinking that at this point I'd probably be better off doing innovative. Trying to get those last few techs as fast as I can to get any advantage I can over me. Morale of armies 15%. Oh man, that's actually really good. But then. Cavalry, artillery. You know what? Actually, I will take that idea. And then we'll do the tech, because that idea is going to help me directly right now. Therefore, it's important I take it. So you guys are retreating. You guys need to go in, hopefully take out that army. It's just gonna keep running away, isn't it? Go deal with the rebels then. You don't have to deal with those. You guys just keep on punishing Tibet for entering this war. I want them to feel the pinch for entering. Sieging forts really fast right now. We'll take that big fort. You go there, you go in there. Now you guys. Cut a little one stack right there. Get another little one stack right there. Yep, you're taking out those rebels. You're gonna go around this way. Force them out. All we do is keep pressure up. Like, we are winning. Why does it say I'm not? Oh, because it shows superiority. I have to win battles. That's right. I forgot we're in a holy war, not a regular war. Where'd this guy go? Oh, yeah, he's in there with the fort. That's alright. from me again. 
as they do. You keep going after the rebels because I need them gone. Take out that little Tibetan army here. We've got a little one over here too. We've got that fort. Apparently we just destroyed one of their armies. It's not enough to catch them. Um, Alright. Tian Shui, keep going in there. That province, you take that one. Get another general on you. We need... To knock Tibet out would be ideal. Let's go get their capital as well. Get the fort first and then their capital. I see them. Deal with them immediately. More rebels. Another reform. No, it's a Protestant. Why have we got Protestants showing up? And where is that? Why did that suddenly go Protestant? What the hell is going on over here? Oh, yes, near the Navy. I keep forgetting about them. Oh, there's so many armies around. At least we can cut this army off. Siege down that fort again. Looks like we're not going to catch the army we were hoping for. Wait, where are they going? They're going up. So if we go like this, we might catch them. No, we didn't. We forced them to run that way at the very least. Recruit another leader. Get down there to Ladek. You go that way. You go this way. You take their capital. Tibet must be, yeah, medium. They're getting close to wanting out of the war. I just hate how they send all these little armies out. Really, it's my own fault. I should build more forts, but they're all too expensive. So I defeated Guia's army, but they're not that interested right now. More oh, powers. So we've got that one. Nice treatment costs, I guess. Change rival. Fort maintenance on border with a rival down by 100%. No, I'll take that. Because then I can build forts along Ming's border and not have it cost me anything. Other than the construction cost, of course. The taking of Astrakhan. So he takes that province. And we go there. To Astrakhan. Now they. There is an army over here actually, the Mombasa one. Go try and catch it. I doubt we will. They'll run as soon as we get near them. Or maybe not actually. We got them. Hunt the Mombasa army out. And you head over there so we can. You get here too. Seconds, there you go. Now bring them over. See if we can catch them. Where's their capital? It's in there. Take that fort, and that should open the way to the capital. Taking the capital always helps a lot. It helps break them around pretty massively, usually. Not good wager. Yeah, Tibet's now low. We we'll fight longer. Like, we're not ready to throw it in with Tibet yet. We can siege more. Central reforms. Russia gains absolutism until the end of the game. I'll take it. Alright, I'll take that absolutism. Uh, so we won't. Well, the next admin tech's too far away, so you know what? We will take that. Prestige decay down. Then we gain innovativeness and tech bonuses. I should have taken that. ID group earlier in the game, really, because it is really good, it's so powerful, but there was other things I needed first, unfortunately. Alright, 
to bet. You want to be out of the wall? Let's knock you out now. Let's try and break your border with Ming if we can, actually. Because if we could break the border with Ming, then I believe... Oh, no, we can't because of all this crap. Alright, forget that. I was going to say, is if you can break the border with Ming, it hurts their, like, imperial power, but oh well. Just take more territory there, so it looks nice. Although, can we... No, we'd have to force Ming to let go of them, wouldn't we? And they'll treaties. Russian vassal requires 400%. Yeah, no, there's no way for me to make them stop being a... That's alright. Let's do this then. 117 ducats, and we'll take a chunk out of Ming. And that's one less problem we have to deal with on that border. Bring them over here. Yep, they're going to go take the capital. Mambosa, you want to get out of the war now? Nope, okay. I'm going to keep you in there for a bit then. So all of these stupid rebels popping up. We also need another advisor. Mr. Force Speed. How much money do we have? 54 ducats. You know what? Let's get a plus three. National manpower. So I notice. Oh, that's right. We actually finished this, didn't we? We call absolutism. Yeah. Look at that. Let's start coring all the Tibetan stuff we got. Because we don't want to have it cored before we go for this stuff. Otherwise, it's going to get a bit painful. The city of Multan has fallen itself. That's their capital. We'll take the fort next to their capital just to kick them out. Multan wants a peace deal. Not going to happen. Not going to happen, buddy. Yeah, there you go. They're dealing with the rebels now. Take out this stuff so that we can core it all. Bodo. That's not Syria. Why is. Bodo. Oh, missionaries working in Kibodo. Can we. Oh, you know what? He's 55% through it. We'll just leave him. We'll leave him to it. He can do whatever. Now, we don't have rebels out there, do we? I just need to make sure I'm not missing rebels somewhere that are about to break away from my land. Doesn't look like we are, which is good. Why are we struggling to move? Where's this fort that's stopping us? Oh, it's actually on that. Right. You know, if you're going to go all the way around, you can go take Yarkan. Although we are 95% in saying that, so Mambosa, you don't want to get out of the war. Kuei, you don't want to get out of the war either. You know what, I don't really care about you two. Well, Tarn was the main target. I don't want to start battling my way into India if we can. I'm not going to be able to with this war, I'm going to have to just... There you go, I can take a bite out of their north. And two lots of ducats. Ooh, that puts me over. I should have actually waited. I should have waited until a few of these cored. That's my own fault. Shit. That's going to cause some serious rebel problems. Oh god. Please deal with it before it gets too bad. Already this morning. Rebels over in the Caucasus. Yep. Separatists, separatists. Yep, yep, yep. That's what happens when you go over 100%, everything gets messy. It's alright, we can fix it. We can fix this. And we have armies in the region to deal with all this. 
get up there. Get out of my time. I'm going to send this army all the way over here, because I'm guessing some rebels will spawn over there and I'll need one. You get up here. Elite new stability's gone down. Yeah, no, we can't. Oh god, I don't even have enough power to do it. Alright, we'll just call more stuff. Oh god. All these rebels. One rebel group, we'll deal with that one. So far no rebels over here, where are they all spawning? Up here. It should stop soon, we're nearly, nearly through coring some. Now yeah, wait for the next mill tap now. Here we go, some core provinces, is that enough to take us? Not quite under 100. 122%. Getting there. Just a little bit more. God, we need stability so bad. I still have to fall right now. God damn it. Take out that rebel. You guys down here, deal with these guys. You deal with them. Take that province. They're coming to deal with you? Good. It cost me a thousand ducats, but we'll do it. Fifty-four. Uh, we're up to 112% now, and there's a bunch of them close to being finished. Just keep, keep this up. If we just keep this up, we can do it. Dealing with problems as they come. Separate sentiments here, yeah. Oh, just hit zero. Stability. Used to back up to one. Alright, we're under 100%. Okay, things should start to stabilize now, as long as we can keep it all under control. Which we're not really doing over here, but. Take that, take that. Just keep converting, keep turning everything. Alright, I think we've done it now. I feel like we've just gotten everything under control, which is wonderful. Take that province back. There's no more up here. Oh, there is some in the north, actually. I didn't even notice. How long have they been there? Swedish separatists. Apparently there's no guy separatists. Where are these Swedish ones? They're not even shown. Like, they're not even on my list. There must be... Oh, they must be Scandinavian rebels, and they've just taken some of my land. That's why there's no actual rebels. So, uh, the Senate army have to deal with it anyway. And we're waiting on next mill tech. Ah, oh, stop telling me that. Just keep clicking on it. Also, just there's some more rebels here. Who are they? They're the Kassam separatists. Need to keep making sure we're boosting stability too, so they're le even less likely. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the last lot. That looks like our mill tech. Wait, can I see much of America now? Oh, apparently I just got a trade dispute with you found them. I mean, that's not happening. I'm not going to war with basically Canada, but... 
Spanish California? I mean, it may as well have been Spanish California the way it is now. What's this? The Netherlands? Oh, the Netherlands is actually moving in. How big are they? You know, that's... For the AI, that's actually pretty impressive that the Netherlands that big managed to spawn. And keep itself alive. And the fact that Burgundy is still alive is really weird. I like how France is just sort of clawing its way in around these mountains. The Pyrenees are sort of French now. They just keep taking little chunks out of Spain. Looks like Bohemia has taken another bite at the Commonwealth. Which is not a bad idea. I should probably do the same. I might do that actually. Let's move... I don't think I need much. Are you heading north? No, you're not. Alright, we'll grab these three armies and put them on the Commonwealth border. Another revolt. Are you for real? Deal with that. I just can't be bothered with that. Build a little supply dump. Try and get a general too. No, we don't have enough money. So we'll wait till Bohemia's done, then we'll quickly take another chomp at the Commonwealth, just like they did. Tip tech upgrade. New military units. What do we got? Winged Hussars. Become the Winged Hussars and the Critical Mortars. And they lower all rebels, which there's not many, but I'll lower them all the same because I'm sick of rebels. God, there is not much left when it comes to the Commonwealth now. What's this? So for 4,000... Really? That spawned over here in China? And yet all of Europe got it anyway before me. God damn it. You know what? I will spend that money. Because it lowers all the tech costs. Which will just make tech even easier for me to get. Even though that was like 4,000, I still think it's worth it. Alright, so we'll quickly go in the Commonwealth, and I'll probably end the episode after we take out the Commonwealth. So declare war. Just... Sluck. Yeah, Sluck will do. Enemy allies, Bohemia. They won't come in on either side. Arkin and Cologne. They're not particularly big, are they? Cologne's not very big, and Arkin can't be very big, because I don't see them. And I'll... you know what? I can't find them, which means they're not big enough to be noticed. It's like the Commonwealth is running into all their allied territory. As they should, because they're dead if they try and fight me. Sly loan for that, but grant the aid anyway. That's alright, we can pay that back surely. Take this out, good old Gordo. Take over Toro. This may actually be a full annex on the Commonwealth now. I don't know whether they'll live through this. I should see who's allied with Scandinavia. It might be worth doing a little plunge in Scandinavia. Right, conversion is successful. Innovativeness versus... I kind of want to get the next tech as much as I want to get these. But then again, you know what? This one makes innovativeness better and then the next one will give me tech. I probably am better off doing these and then going for... One for the tech. So yeah, we pay that loan. Oh, I didn't notice France was going to come in. Oh dear! Suddenly this war got a little bit scarier. Uh, maybe I should pull some more troops back. Looks like we may have to deal with France. Definitely got Burgundy moving in on the north. Some 
Commonwealth troops down there. Let's get up here. Well, so much for this being a small little war. Now, Burgundy, what's your military tech? 23. That's one ahead of me, so I don't want to fight you one to one. I want to outnumber you. Oh, because I need enough ducats to actually afford these guys, right? No, you're just a dip guy anyway, I don't care too much about that. I'll be retaking my capital, thank you. Damn, they siege fast. Oh god, I think I'm in trouble. Um, Commonwealth, can we just quickly peace out before this gets too messy? Why not? They're just money. How about just a white piece? Because that wasn't a great war. Would have been good if it was just the Commonwealth. I didn't realize France was going to goddamn guarantee them. Mm, that's annoying. All right. Well, with that almost disaster, I'll say thank you for watching and uh, goodbye for now.